Hello faithful subscribers. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. Not that you're used to a whole bunch of uh, qual quantity from me, but I've been uh, traveling. I'm at a workshop in Washington State, Goldendale, Washington to be uh, specific. And uh, the workshop is Curriculum for Agricultural Science Education. They gave us this cool cup. I know it's backwards, but you can't see it in this case. Uh, food science and safety. It's been a really fascinating workshop. I'm having a really good time. Uh, my brain is tired. Uh, we have about uh, three and a half days to go. And what I wanted to, to uh, share with you is um, you know, a, a teacher workshop. We ended up taking a lot of notes and doing quite a few things. And um, I just wanted to show you uh, some of the stuff we're working on. So I um, have this uh, lab notebook. See what it says there, right? Let, lab notebook. We've been taking a just a ton of notes. Just a lot of notes, a lot of handwritten things, uh, a few things on the computer. It's just the kind of thing that we would expect our students to do. And um, it's been really, um, really good. When I, I uh, left Colorado, I, I packed up some pins with me so that I could make sure to have a good writing uh, instrument as I was here. And I put them in this little bag and kept those in my briefcase. And I thought the pins were um, pretty close to full when I left, um, but I think with altitude and travel and everything, they might have leaked out a little bit or it might have some evaporation. So I ended up having to fill them, but um, the pins that I've used, I've used um, this Twisby Eco with an extra fine nib, and it still has a bit of ink in it, but um, it's been running kind of dry, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, but I've, I've been using this quite a bit. It works pretty well with this paper. This paper isn't, um, the highest quality, but it doesn't feather too bad and doesn't bleed through. It does show through, and that's okay. I don't mind, don't mind that. The other pin that I've used quite a bit has been uh, my Lamy Studio. This one here with the extra fine nib. This one actually ran dry on um, day four of the Institute, so I was a little bit of a panic. And then I also had my Ranga. Uh, this is the uh, Indian pin that I have, and um, it ran dry also on that same fourth day. Um, so I was in a little bit of a panic. And then the other pin that I have um, carrying my planner is the uh, Lamy 2000. And this one is not run dry. Um, so I at least had that to, to, to go with. But um, I did notice that um, when we went down to um, the Dolls, Oregon to eat supper the other night that there was a Staples there. And um, I thought, well, I can maybe find some ink there. And then, uh, Four other of the teachers and I went on a little rafting trip over on the Deschutes River and um, they stayed around um, to party with the uh, river guides. That wasn't a lot of fun for me. So um, since we're in two cars, I went in and came back and I stopped in the dolls at the, at the uh, Staples store and picked up some ink. This is an ink that I've never tried before and I thought I would share it and a lot of you probably are familiar with it and I'm not sure how well this is going to focus. I know it's backwards, but this is Parker. Quink ink, and this is black. And um, I went ahead and filled up these two pins with it. And then this morning, when I was writing in my journal in my planner, uh, this pin uh, started running dry, so I went and cleaned it out and filled it up. And I can tell you that um, I'm very pleased and impressed with this ink. Um, not a, you can't buy a lot of bottled ink in just a normal store in the United States, and so. Um, finding this Parker ink in, uh, in the store was, was really um, a nice surprise. Uh, the price was really good. I think it was about $12. And so um, that seemed very reasonable for, um, I'm not even sure how much this ink is, a couple of ounces of ink, a nice bottle. And um, with, with my fountain pens, this bottle of ink will last me years. Um, but one of the things I have noticed about the ink itself is um, it, it tends to make the pens write just a little bit drier, which is, um, in the case of using a cheaper paper, is, is good, so you end up with less feathering, um, show through and bleed through, so I think that'll work pretty well. Now, it does end up with my pens aren't being quite as smooth. However, with this uh, Ranga, with the uh, 1.1 millimeter uh, metallic nib, it's just as smooth as can be, so it's worked pretty well. Um, just a little uh, comment about my setup here on the video. I actually have a box um, that this came in, this uh, tumbler came in, and um, so I have the my phone propped up against one of the tabs, 
and then with the lid behind it so um, you know the angle may not be quite as flattering as what I would like you know but um, well I'm, I'm still gonna be bald no matter what you do so anyway that's what I'm doing um, not really been doing a lot of planning this week uh, just because our, our time has been pretty full we go from uh, class starts at 8 and most of the teachers there uh, between 7 30 and 8 and we go up to a little after 5 every day to that five days last week I uh, we had some time this weekend to rest relax uh, see the sights uh, Washington is a beautiful state we're on the desert side of the state so it's interesting where we're at right now. There are a lot of pine trees, but you don't have to go very far away. And you're flat out in the desert, and then just not much farther, you're over there in the river. From where we're at, just drive down the road about five miles, you can see um, Mount Adams and Mount Hood, um, which are the closest. And then you can see the top of Mount Rainier, and then you can see what's left of Mount St. Helens. And there's one other peak that uh, I can see somewhere farther off. So um, anyway, it's, it's pretty cool. I do have, um, I did bring a journal with me to write with, and I did bring my planner, but um, I'm really not using it that much just because uh, the day is pretty well programmed. There's not a lot of discretionary time to, to uh, plan out. So I hope everything's going well. And oh, one other thing that I've noticed, Washington is a 7-Up state, and uh, that makes me really happy because I'm not a huge fan of Sprite, but I am a big fan of 7-Up. So cheers.